Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life, doing a little update on the Eclipse 3D. Uh, so, a few things have gone on, a few major things and a few major steps that are necessary to get this thing printing. So I'm getting really, really close to having an actual functional 3D printer, which is awesome. Let's ignore that for a sec. <coughs> um, so I printed out a new uh, extruder piece, uh, extruder slider piece. Um, so again, there's still no holes for mounting the actual extruder on here, but I'm making progress, and that should be the next iteration. Sorry for Mr. Noisy over there. Um, anyway, there's two fan ducts. This one's a functional fan duct for cooling the E3D hot end that's going to pop in here. So that one's pretty much set. Um, that should work absolutely fine. I don't see any problems with that. This one is uh, a fan duct for the what's going to be a cooling fan for the print. And as you can see on the underside, oops, there we go. Um, there's a bit of a lip here so that we'll be able to pop in a duct and uh, probably just glued in place or something for the time being. I might eventually have it where it's fastened in place with a bolt, something like those, like uh, along those lines. Anyway, that's going to just curve down and then blow onto the print. Uh, but a bigger development is this, this little. <laughs> Um, mess of bolts is what it looks like, but it's actually a uh, adjustable tensioning belt system for both belts. So it's a little more difficult to set up because you have two separate belts. These are two separate belt pieces, um, but it works on the same concept. You have these little pieces where the, the belt loops through around this bolt and then comes back and it holds it in place. Um, but now you have two of them and there's two longer bolts that pull these together tighter. So what that does is it it not only tightens the belts, but it also makes sure that both the belts are under the same tension. Uh, and then on, uh, to hold them in place, there's just this plastic piece with two bolts in the middle that clamps those two longer bolts to the frame. And that's what secures it, and it makes it all nice and rigid. Um, so popping this back up, it's even more rigid than it was before, which is awesome. Uh, now the only thing that's keeping it from being 100% rigid is the fact that these motors aren't powered on right now, so they uh, they can move a little bit, which uh, allows for a little bit of twisting. Uh, the belt isn't quite as tight as I want it to be because the, I didn't have long enough bolts for down there. And finally, because these guys are all still plastic plates, and this one especially is quite flimsy when it's plastic, these two guys. Uh, this one's plastic too, although it doesn't matter too much. Um, so anyway, once these plates are upgraded to aluminum plates, uh, when this thing's powered on, this thing's gonna have absolutely no gantry slop at all, which is freaking awesome. Um, it's gonna be so much more rigid than the uh, the H bot setup on the three up, which should mean that I, we're gonna get some insanely fast, high quality prints out of this guy with very very minimal artifacts, if any. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting pretty excited about this because it is coming better, uh, coming together better than I ever would have expected. Um, oh, also the belt crossing over. Um, I can show you a good picture of it now. Uh, let me just slide this out. So, as you can see, it's got this little offset piece with two pulleys on it. Uh, one belt's going to go up and one's going to go down. And so here you can see these are on the same plane. One's just behind and one's in front. So the belts split. They twist a little bit. One goes low, one goes high. They go over these rollers and then they come back together and they go on this side. Um, some people have expressed concerns about um, it rubbing against the edges of these pulleys, but these pulleys are actually, it's hard to see, but they actually have rounded corners. Um, you can kind of see it there. So that really just keeps them uh, lined up and in place, and it doesn't really rub or make any noise at all. Um, it's actually a lot better than I ever would have expected it to be, um, and so far it's been working like a charm. I, of course, I'm going to have to do a lot more testing to make sure everything still works perfectly, but for now, I don't foresee any problems with this setup. It's pretty awesome. And that allows uh, me to have these two pulleys on the exact same level, uh, which means it's easier for securing the belts to this guy. Uh, it should mean... Uh, it looks like I messed up a little measurement, because you can see that this belt bows out a little bit, whereas the other one goes straight, so I'm going to have to fix that. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. What was I talking about? I forget. Um, oh yeah, yeah, these, these pulleys are on the same level, um, which should mean uh, there's going to be less torquing. Uh, if these were at different heights, it's possible for it to torque 
in this direction when the uh, direction changes to it might give it a little bit of a wobble but because of the, these are the same height the force vectors are in, the, in line with each other so that shouldn't cause any problems uh, plus it just looks better like this uh, with them all being on the same level um, I wish I didn't have to have this in the front I wish I could switch it to the back but there's so much going on that I just don't think there's room now enough of that let's get to this guy this is the guy that you probably care about more well it, I do anyway so I've got these linear bearings on I've got them bolted on they are nice and ridiculously solid um, I've got this guy on here I've had him on I have Ow, brackets for the bottom of the rods and I'm printing out the top bracket and I've got the rods right here so the Z axis is about to go together um, once that goes together um, all I have to really do is I have to put the aluminum plates in uh, I should be getting those tomorrow I believe um, and then I will have all three axes completely functional which will be awesome um, now after that, I will have to put the bed on, which I believe should be coming soon, the uh, new heated bed. I'll have to modify this piece so I can actually put an extruder on it, of course, that's how the printer works. Uh, and then I have to reprint um, these big Y slider pieces um, a bit tight around the holes so that they hold the bushings in place permanently. And I also have to modify all of the parts to work with these square nuts, uh, which are, from my initial testing, so much better, easier to put in easier to use, less likely to strip out the holes, just better in general. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Lots of progress on the Eclipse 3D and lots more is going to come in the next few days. So keep an eye out um, because I wouldn't be surprised if the next video is a fully functional 3D printer minus the extruder probably. But nonetheless, it's almost a fully completed printer. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.